since about 1999, when Napster appeared, uh, revenue to recorded music, basically to the record labels, has fallen a third, almost a half, depending on which country you look at. But everywhere you look, huge reductions, you know, huge declines in uh, recorded music revenue. Most people think this is because of piracy. I agree with that, actually. Uh, I think it's pretty clear that piracy is largely responsible for these kind of uh, huge reductions in revenue. Now, piracy is interesting and reductions in revenue are interesting, but in some ways the more important question is not just how well are the traditional record companies faring, but instead, are we still going to get music? Is it still going to be possible to get new music to market? Now the stories we hear, uh, and they're not just stories, but I think the claims that the recording industry has made have been like, look, if we can't make money, we can't bring new artists to market, there'll be nothing for you to listen to. And so that got me thinking that you know, maybe what we should try to do is quantify, well, how much good new music is coming to market? And has it declined as the fortunes of the recording industry have declined? So that's what got me interested in this Bye Bye Miss American Pie topic. So the kind of wacky idea that I came up with was to look at, at uh, kind of critical retrospective best of lists. So these aren't you know, end of the year lists where they say, what are the 10 best this year? Because of course every year has a 10 best of this year. But instead, these are the lists, like looking back 10 years or 20 years or 50 years, what are the best albums or songs of that entire period? And those lists can be converted into indices that show, well, how many of those works came from this year versus that year. And I found about 100 of these kinds of indices, and I can sort of statistically splice them together to produce a pretty long run time series of the quantity of, well, music that meets some importance threshold over time. And when I do that, what I see, you know, really I should say much to my surprise, is that uh, it doesn't decline after Napster. If you think about music, there are a bunch of different ways to make money from music. One, if you're a traditional major record label, you just make money largely selling recorded music. But of course, that's not the whole way the industry finances itself. If you think about the industry as the artists and so forth, you know, one of the big ways they get uh, paid is by live performance. And so even when they can't make as much money selling recorded music, and it really seems to be true that it's harder to make mo money selling recorded music, it's still possible to use the recorded music as in some ways an advertisement for the other product that they have, which is live performance. So uh, while I think the reaction of the uh, major record labels does reflect their own experience, uh, it doesn't necessarily reflect the larger ability of you know, our society to bring this stuff to market.